This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Professional Science. Seriously, bro. Part 51. Hey, who invented fun? F. U. N. All right. I had a couple people say, hey, can we get a Comet Ison update? And then I had several people say, hey, what do you really think? All right, so yeah, here goes. That was here goes. Not to be confused with ergo. Ergo. Yeah, dude, this game is rigged. If you haven't had the chance to follow me on all 50 episodes, let me recap it for you. At the beginning of the year, professional science and professional science media said, hey, guess what? One percenters of people that care about astronomy and things that go on now in the heavens. We might have ourselves the comet of the century on our hands. Two months later, we got cool video from the epoxy deep impact spacecraft of ice and emotion. Uniform, yet still interesting. And then three months later, from the comet of the century, potential. Announcement, public relations, official. I was like, hey, dude, if it's a potential comma century, where are the photographs at, man? Can we see something? Pretty please. I see this thing right here that says, you guys have been watching it quite a bit. So may we please, too, begin to understand what all the fuss is about. And then, 50 episodes later, the story has gotten weirder every single step of the way, which mathematically seems impossible. But hey, it is what it is. And so Thanksgiving was by far the most important date of this journey along a linear sequence. And it's like, man, if you aren't really paying attention, I don't know what to say. Because this game is rigged, man. It's like professional science built this thing up as a comet of the century. Or the comet of 400,000 years. Or the comet of 500,000 years. Or the comet of 800,000 years. The comet of a million thousand years. Wait, what? Math. My calculator is broken. Can I get another one, please? Thank you. They built it up like, hey, this thing's special. Then you got Perihelion. And they're like, dead? Alive zombie? Dead? And so at that point, I'm like, wait, whoa, what? Hey, what? No, come on. No, wait. Oh. Uh. And so, uh. I'm a little heartbroken. I fell in love with her. She was fascinating. Comet Ison. And, uh, I think I led a pretty honorable and quixotic courtship. Yes, I had to see it go. And then it's like professional science is jumping right back in going, Ha ha, fail tar, told you, you were wrong. And I'm like, what? Hey, I'm a pseudo-astronomer with a beer and cigarettes budget. And I gave the people every good piece of information I could find. And all I've done is follow this story, which is fucking fascinating on every level. If you look at it, I've left so much between the lines. Like, hey, Jude, no crying now. Sing a sad song. They'll make it better. Anyhow. So, if you want to know what I think, I think you need to understand that. That, that's what this is. It's all been weird. It stayed weird. Then I got super weird on Thanksgiving. And this story does not end until a minimum of January-ish, 2014. And this is not me fear-mongering or making shit up or grasping at straws. This is me reintroducing the data provided by the people in the know at the beginning. Early on, maybe for me it was episode number four. I think that was when I realized, holy shit, the game just changed. And they said double dusted. That with or without the sun, la sol, saving Madre Tierra, blasting it to pieces. Or with Earth doing that, Earth was going to go through whatever ice and left behind twice. What's exactly on our orbital plane? In our path, the initial dust and debris left over. And then, as it came back around, that stream of leftovers as well. Well, me personally, I think crazy thoughts. 
I've had this strange feeling that on maybe a metaphorical, crazy, romantical level, Comet Ison is going to lead the ceremony that married Earth to Venus. And I was like, awesome. That is so cool. That is just what we need. And then so when Ison went around, son, turned into a spaceship and then evaporated into magic comet dust. It's almost like that ritual at a wedding where they all throw confetti and stuff. We're so I Ison's still possibly marrying Venus and Earth. It's about time, you know. It's about time. Well, if women are from Venus and men are from Mars, I was born on Earth, dude. Earth is like a magic snow globe. Madre Tierra. Oh, so bonita. Hey, let me ask you a question. All right, my math might be fuzzy on this, but I do not have time to take an absolute and complete census. Out of the percentage of adults, and for this American purpose, let's go with 18 as the American law definition of adult. What percentage? 18 and up, I guess out of 8 billion people. 18 and up. 75%. That math could be off a little. Okay, so what percentage of those people do you think keep up to date with astronomy? The heavens, the sun, the moon, Jupiter, Mars, Orion, and all the strange unidentified objects that are in the sky on any given night. 3%? 5%? 1%? I don't know. But it's low. I think we all need a little perspective. Better perspective. Okay, great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I am recharged. I am refreshed. I have done my grieving, and I am ready to go. There is a ton of crap for me to talk about that we have not covered yet. We've still got the excitement of the ghost of Ison reaching Christmas on Earth, and then that bizarre meteor shower it shall bring by going through its orbit plane in January. And I think... I caught a couple professionals fudging some numbers. So, I got five days off. We're about to have Christmas. I'm going to flood your happy face with videos over the next few days. And I hope troll bitch number four just punched his computer and looked down at the floor to, I guess, where the devil would be. It's like, devil, why can't I have my hammer? Why can't I have my, why can't I have my more dislike buttons? I wish I could dig, 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 slack something 55 times. She's not very good at speaking. She doesn't have very good social skills, so she doesn't get to practice it much. Anywho, God bless everyone. I want everyone to have a Merry Christmas, and I'm so glad I just got my birthday out of the way. All right, cool. I'm back, and I'm badder than ever. I missed you guys. Oh, yeah. On that note, I'm going to release a classic next. It's called Double Dusted. It was actually part four, and the series got weird, because Double Dusted is all about what's happening in January when we get double dusted so it'll be a double dust redux i can feel your excitement baby the heat radiates all the way over here i was like and then i think my calculator is broken can i get another one please thank you I missed you guys i'm gonna flood your happy face i'm back and i'm badder than ever